Someday you'll come along, the man I love. He'll be big and strong, the man I love. When he comes my way, I'll do my best to make, make him stay. He'll look at me and smile, I'll understand. Then in a little while, he'll take my hand. No, it seems absurd. I know we both won't say a word. Maybe I will meet him Sunday. Maybe Monday, maybe not. But I'm sure to meet him one day. Maybe Tuesday will be my good news day. We'll build a little home just meant for two. From which I'll never roam. Who would would you? So will us above. I'm searching for the man. Searching for the man I love. The man, the man, the man, the man. I'll never roam. Who would would you? So will us above. I'm searching for the man, the man I love. Look for the man, man I love. Search for the man. Thank you very much and g'day to everyone. Uh, it's our last concert here in Crested Butte and I'm sad to leave. I've met a lot of new friends and I've just had a wonderful time here and I've had a great time with all the musicians, outstanding musicians and I'm very privileged and pleased to be standing on the stage with two of my favorite players um, all the way from Boston and uh, yes, just, I, I, he's my favorite violin player. I'm not lying. I just love the way he plays. Jason Annick. And also very young and talented, and uh, I'm just a good friend, and I just love the way he plays. Max O'Rourke. We are celebrating two legends this evening, Les Paul and Stefan Grappelli. 
both very unique musicians in that they played well into their 90s, pretty much without taking a break. They just kept playing and uh, just kept working and just loved to play. So um, I was very fortunate to work with Les Paul for the last 10 years of his life. I joined his band uh, in 2000 and, no, wait, <laughs> 1999, and then he passed in August of 2009. So I had every Monday night at the Iridium Jazz Club with a legend, someone who played country music, jazz, he was an inventor, composer, arranger, and he did it all so beautifully, actually. Uh, that song, actually, the first song we did, when I first joined the band, I used to play it just as a bass solo. And then one night he stopped me in the middle of the bass solo and said, can't you do something else? And I had never done anything else. I was hired as a bass player and that's all I did. And uh, do you juggle, do you tap dance, do you, you know, you sing? And I said, well, everybody sings, Les. everyone sings at home, right? You know. And he said, well, let's hear it. And I was like, oh boy. Uh, I knew the lyrics only from working with a lot of singers. So I sang it that night, and I, as I'm leaving the stage, Les taps me on the shoulder and says, leave that in. So to keep my gig with Les Paul, I had to sing every Monday, and that was the first song I sang. This, is a so this next song, I think. <laughs> this next song, Les liked to play often on Monday nights, and it's a favorite of mine. He used to tell a story about playing in Chicago back in the old days, and uh, one night he was playing in Chicago, and a friend of the owners walked up to Les and said, the boss wants you to play come rain or come shine. You can pick either one. <laughs> a one, two, a one, two, three. <laughs> Nobody's loved you Come rain or come shine High as the mountain Deep as the river Come rain or come shine Guess when you met me It was just one of those things But don't ever bet me I'm gonna be true if you let me You're gonna love me like nobody's loved me Come rain or come shine Happy together, unhappy together Won't that be fine? Days may be cloudy or sunny We're in or we're out of the money But I'm with you always I'm with you rain or shine With you come rain or shine
You're gonna love me like nobody's loving me. Come rain or come shine. Happy together, unhappy together. The world might be fine. Days may be cloudy or sunny. We're in our way out of the money. But I'm with you always. Yes, I'm with you always. I'm with you, Rain or Shine. Rain or Shine. Rain or Shine. Yeah. Max O'Rourke, that was beautiful. Uh, it's appropriate for Crested Butte, isn't it? The rain comes, the sun comes, it's back and forth. But it's just gorgeous. I'm going to miss it here. It's really a very beautiful part of the world. Um, yes. I'm just oh. <laughs> I'd like to talk a little bit about Les Paul and his many inventions. He was born Lester William Polfus on June 9th, 1915 in Waukesha, Waukesha, Wisconsin. He started out at the age of eight playing the harmonica then uh, switched to the piano, and then the guitar. Uh, it was very early in his life that he invented a neck-worn harmonica holder, which they still use that basic design of today. So that was one of his first inventions. Uh, he was known as Rhubarb Red, and he had a one-man band, and uh, he was playing mostly country music back in that day. Uh, he was singing and playing guitar and experimenting with sound. And what he wanted to do was amplify his acoustic guitar so that he could be heard better, especially out on the street when he was playing. So he wired a phonograph needle to his guitar, connected it to a radio speaker. He took a section of a railroad tie and created what would become the first prototype of a solid body electric guitar. And uh, he kept experimenting. And in the early 1940s, he took a four by four piece of lumber big piece of wood with a bridge, a guitar neck, strings and a pickup, and an Epiphone hollow body guitar that he sawed in half and attached it to each side of the lumber. And he called this invention the log. And it must have been incredibly heavy, I can't imagine, a piece of wood and an Epiphone body. I have some photos if you notice the CD stand, because I know you're going to walk past the CD stand, right? So. Right next to the CD stand, I've, I have some photos up of Les with all, his, all of his inventions. And so you'll see the log out there. And the log solved two problems Les was having in his search for better sound. It solved the problem of feedback because the guitar body no longer resonated and sustained because the energy of the strings was not lost throughout the body. And I guess that's why so many people love the, the solid body guitar. Axl Rose, Zach Wilde, Billy Gibbons, Jimmy Page, Led Zeppelin, from Led Zeppelin, sorry. Um, Bob Marley, jazz guitarist, Pat Martino, Al Dubiola, even Joe Pass played a Les Paul guitar. So he was very popular with his invention. Uh, we are going to move on now with a song that Les did with Mary Ford. Mary Ford with his, was his wife and they had a big act that they went on the road with for many years. She was a great guitar player and a really lovely singer. And this is one song I think of Mary Ford. Just one more chance To prove it's you alone I care for Each night I say a little prayer for For just one more chance Just one more night To taste the kisses that enchant me I'd want no others if you'd grant me 
just one, one more chance. I've learned the meaning of repentance. Now you're the jury at my trial. I know that I should serve my sentence. Still, I'm hoping all the while you'll give me just one more word. I said that I was glad to start out, but now I'm left to cry my heart out for just one more chance. Beautifully played by Max. Very, very nice. I love that. Would you like to play some more for me? <laughs> uh, Les's search for perfect sound didn't end just with a solid body guitar. I will add that it took 10 years before Gibson decided to take his invention seriously and call it the Les Paul guitar. So he worked very hard for a very long time until he got it just right. And then Gibson said, ah, bring it on. So uh, he also invented something very important that we all take for granted as musicians. And if you've ever used GarageBand or any kind of software on your computer, any recording software, you are using Les's invention of multi-track recording, which completely revolutionized the whole music business. I don't know if we'd have the Beatles recordings, which is why Paul McCartney used to come to the gig to pay respects for the person that invented a multi-track recording. It's quite incredible. Um, I don't think Les ever imagined that the uh, size of two refrigerators, really, that the early multi-track machines were stacked one on top of the other. In fact, he had to cut a hole in the ceiling of his house to add more tracks. And I don't think he would have ever imagined that we can use a cell phone to record music from something so gigantic to just a cell phone. I think, you know, Les was in, amazed by technology and he was the start of it all. Uh, we are going to do a Bob Dylan song, just because. <laughs> we're we're going to swing it for you. I hope we have some Dylan fans in the house, right? Bob Dylan fans. Very unique. Yes. Okay, here we go. I think that's good. 
A one, a two, and you know what to do. Sail away, we're gonna forget it. Big old moon's gonna shine like a spoon. We're gonna let it, baby. You won't regret it. Kick your shoes off. Do not feel no, no. Just bring that bottle. Bring it over. Actually, these guys are giving me giving me heaps all uh, all week because when I really talk Australian and everything, they say it sounds like Bob Dylan singing. <laughs> uh, one of the songs that Les played without fail every Monday night was a song that he played with Judy Garland. He worked with all the stars like Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra, and Judy Garland, and he used to talk about uh, working with her and how incredible a singer she really was and. Yes, she was. So we're going to do a Judy Garland's signature song and also became Les's signature song. And we're going to give Max a break, if you want one. Yes, you need a break. <laughs>
Jason Anik. So beautiful. Nikki Parat. We're going to play Les's arrangement of Avalon for you now. That is so sweet the way you play. I just, I like, I just love it. Here's Avalon. It's hard to keep up with you. Jeez. <laughs> We've been teaching camp. We had a great time with all the students at camp. Gypsy jazz guitar camp and violin camp and vocal camp and everything. And uh, it's interesting how there's only a few degrees of separation between all the musicians that we, uh, we look up to. Uh, Les played with Stefan Grappelli who we're going to feature in the next set. And he also was, he idolized Django Reinhardt. As soon as he heard Django, he was obsessed, like a lot of guitar players were back in the day. And uh, he, he loved Django. Django gave Les Paul one of his guitars. And uh, he died very young, Django. He died at the age of 43. And um, the family had no money for the funeral. 
So Les collected all the royalties owed to the Reinhardt family and paid for the funeral. Les paid for Django's funeral. And then all the money he collected gave to the Reinhardt family. So he respected him so highly and they had a wonderful relationship. So it's, it's incredible how close they all were. It's amazing. Uh, we're going to do something completely crazy now and uh, change a lyric on a Cole Porter tune. So I apologize to Cole Porter in advance to what I'm about to do to his song. Are we ready? Yes. Good. We like silly, right? We all need silly. As much silly as we can get in the world, right? Yeah, it's good. Good for us. That's a chord I like. I love that chord. It's a good chord. B flat 7 plus 5. It's nothing better. Mr. Irving Berlin often emphasizes sin in a charming way. Mr. Coward, we know, wrote a song or two to show. Sex was here to stay. <laughs> Richard Rogers, it's true, took a more romantic view of this lie by a logical urge. But it really was Cole who contrived to make the whole thing move. He said that birds do it, bees do it, jazz musicians such as these do it, oh, let's do it, baby, let's fall. Folks up on the top of Crested Butte, do it, let's do it, we're gonna fall in love. I hear that Wonder Woman multiple times, does it, and while wearing a cape, Snowden knows who it, which is why he had to escape. <laughs> Brad Pitt and Angelina, they just stopped doing it. Remember Tiger Woods once swore he would not do it, but oh, let's do it. Colorado, let's fall in love. In the privacy of bones, do it. Slimy hackers and internet trolls, they do it, but oh, let's do it. Baby, let's fall in love. Romantic couples in Niagara Falls, do it. Once even the patriots with deflated balls, did it, but oh, let's do it. We're gonna fall in love. Prince William and Kate get to royally do it. Perhaps one day on a throne, if lost on an island with Prince Charles, well, I'd rather do it alone Sinatra and Gardner once were great doing it even our friends here in the Centennial State they do it oh let's do it Crested Butte fall in love go and do it you gotta fall in love Oh, you got to get silly once in a while, right? We have uh, one more song for you. 
in tribute to Les. This is very closely tied to Les. I'd like to thank Denise and Blake Hawk for being such incredible hosts for us the whole week. It's just a delight to spend time with you and your three dogs. We love your dogs too. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Uh, thank you, Emily and Eric, for also hosting us for the week. Uh, it's just been a lovely week. Thank you, Maddie, for great sound and for the video and everything. Really good here. Um, I'm coming back to uh, Colorado in a couple of weeks, so if you're around Den uh, Denver or Colorado Springs or Aspen or Vail, it should be on my website. I hope so. Um, by some amazing coincidence, we all have CDs out the front. And uh, we will be back with a wonderful tribute to Stefan Grappelli, so please uh, come back. <laughs> and uh, we're going to leave you with uh, a tribute to Les Paul with two of his classics. I'd also like to f thank my friends from San Angelo for taking the trip down here. Thank you so much. Fairy tales can come true for a legend like you if you're young at heart. It's better by far, named on every guitar, to the young at heart. You can play the guitar, be a big mega star, be admired from afar, play all night in a bar, and life gets more exciting with each passing day. Cause Les would get a new pacemaker and he's on his way. Don't you know that it's worth every treasure on earth to be young at heart? With a quick comic flair, Les brought smiles everywhere cause he was young at heart. If you ever look back, you will see multi-track at the point he arrived to make music alive. And here is the best part. Les was a fresh start. Take a look, he's first among the young at heart. Oh, yeah. One, two, oh, one, two, three. Somewhere there's music, how faint the tune. Somewhere there's heaven, how high the moon. There is no moon above where love is far away too. Till it comes true, you love me as I love you. Somewhere there's music, it's where you are. Somewhere there's heaven, how near, how far. Darkest night would shine if you would come to me soon. To you will I steal my heart by the moon.
Nikki Perrot.